Hello, I am Dr. Jay Chandra, Senior Interventional Pulmonologist and Clinical Director in Pulmonology Care Banjara Hospitals. Talking about pneumonia, how do you diagnose, how, what are the modalities of treatment, how do you manage pneumonia, that is a basic uh, issue. Now basically when a person comes to you, he doesn't come in and say that listen I have got pneumonia, please treat me. He comes to you with a few symptoms uh, based on which you come to a conclusion that he has got pneumonia and you would want to investigate whether you are right or you are going along the right track or not. So the presentation dictates the number of investigations that one would like to go to. Now in case a person comes with cough, fever, chest pain, the classical triad of pneumonia as we say, now the first thing that you would like to think is because it is involving the lungs, let us see the extent of the involvement of the lungs. So how do we do that? Normally we get a chest x-ray done, that is the starting point for all these patients. That will tell us which part of the lung is involved, how much of the lung is involved, what kind of pneumonia is it, is it some kind of a bronchopneumonia as we call it or sometimes we call it lobar pneumonia or what is the extent of the involvement of the lungs. That is what an x-ray does for us. So that becomes a starting point for us. The supporting things are you get a blood test done. Okay, what does the blood test tell us? The blood test tells us whether it is likely to be a viral infection or whether it is likely to be a bacterial infection or otherwise. And also at the same time we'd like to screen them for other diseases like does he have a kidney problem, does he have a diabetic problem which has made him prone for this particular episode of pneumonia. That's what we are trying to look for. So you are going to investigate them for all these things. Now having done all these things then you say hey listen, now we don't know the bug which has caused the pneumonia so let us get a sputum examination done. So you send the sputum for examination, one that you will get immediately with what we call as a gram stain, you will know whether it is a gram positive, gram negative or the, the type of bacteria which has infected him and then also send for a culture to get the sensitivity pattern. That means what is the bug which is causing the pneumonia and what is it likely to respond to, which drug is it likely to respond to. You would like to do that, you are not going to get the reports in the first 24 hours. So the initial treatment for all these patients of pneumonia would be an empirical choice of antibiotic which with your past experience you know that it will work in this particular instance. So you start off on an antibiotic as is dictated to by your past experience, send off all these investigations, wait for the results. So after about 48 hours you get the results. So you have a plan B ready. If for some reason he has not responded to the medicines that you have already started on, within 48 hours you are ready with all the reports which tell us maybe it is time for us to change the antibiotic or in case he is already responding to the drugs that you have given, we will continue with the same medicines to the logical conclusion that is to about a week or so you would like to give all these antibiotics till their patients are better. This being the primary treatment for the basic disease. But apart from this, you will need to support his nutrition, you will have to support his uh, other conditions like diabetes, you will have to support him because of the fever, you have to support him because of the chest pain that he has got, you make sure that he is eating properly, make sure that he is getting his rest properly and he is able to sleep properly and these are the other things. So the primary treatment will be maybe an antibiotic or one of those class of drugs that we give him, the other things will also be supportive. So in in a very brief manner, let me again explain. First thing is appropriate diagnosis, choice of the right drug, supportive treatment for all this till the patient recovers, usually within a period of between 5 to 10 days is the usual time taken for them to recover from this particular disease. Thank you.